some comments in the comment section hit me up on twitter all those cool things you know all those cool things man and woo we what a week it's been in the world of professional pro, professional wrestling right i mean monday you got brock Lesnar hanging out with pat McAfee on his show wearing a cowboy hat doing stone cold impressions tuesday was nxt on vengeance day and then Wednesday, Cody Rose and Brandy left AEW, so it's just been a crazy week. Also, AEW setting up for um, the pay-per-view revolution, but the main story of the week has been Cody Rose and Brandy leaving um, AEW. I didn't see that coming. Maybe I was thinking, maybe Chris Jericho, of all people, but not Cody, because like, Cody is, um, was one of the EVPs, one of the founders of AEW, so... Who knows? People are thinking this will work. People are thinking that, oh, no, Cody, no, he, he won't leave AEW. He's, he's, it's just a big work. And I'm like, yo, whatever. Like, whatever happens, happens. If he does come back to AEW or if he does end up going to WWE, whatever he decides to do is his decision. Um, and honestly, I would just like to say from the bottom of my heart to Cody, if you do ever come across this video, I would just like to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you from for saving us from another one of your wife Brandy's segments with um, Dan Lander and American Top Team. Thank you for saving us from that, man. I truly appreciate you. If no one else says it, I appreciate you for saving us from that. Anyway, we also have WWE Elimination Chamber coming up this Saturday. And that's really what I came up here to talk about. Um... I'm doing my predictions. Now, as far as the show goes, it's gonna be Saturday, this Saturday. The thing is, I work this weekend, and I work Saturday, and the show is supposed to come on like 12 in the afternoon, and I'm gonna be at work, and then obviously I gotta come home and do whatever, and then watch the show. So I'm debating if I wanna do a review or not. Um, I knew I was gonna get the predictions out, but as far as the review, I don't know if I'm gonna actually do it because I gotta, you know, actually watch the show and all, all that. So I don't know. We'll see what happens Saturday if I do a review of V or not. But as far as the predictions video goes, I got you. I got your predictions. I don't know how many people are gonna watch this, but you know, whatever, man. Anyway, the overall bill for the show, yeah, it's been alright. It's been pretty decent. Like, the main things people really care about are the Elimination Chamber match, uh, and, well, the two Elimination Chamber matches, and possibly Roman versus Goldberg. So, um, let's get into this video, let's get into the predictions. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and just knock out the matches I really don't care about. Starting with the, uh, Falls Count Anywhere match between, uh, Drew McIntyre and Mad Cat Moss. Honestly, I don't even know why they're still feuding, or I don't know why there's still beef between these two. I guess including a happy Corbin. I mean, it started because I don't know how this started. I know that Mad Cat Moss and um, Baron Corbin beat up Drew McIntyre and um, injured him. And then Drew McIntyre came back and then he wants revenge. So I honestly don't know why this is still happening. I mean, it might be a fun match because it is Falls Town Anywhere. But uh, Drew McIntyre is going to win. So uh, that's going to move on to the next one, which is... Rey Mysterio versus The Maz, and again, same thing, I don't even know why these two are feuding, I, I think it's because The Miz is just jealous because uh, Rey Mysterio is on the cover of WWE 2K, I guess, I don't know, and maybe he thinks that Dominic might not be Rey's father, everyone knows Eddie's um, Dominic's father anyway, so I don't know why, this is common knowledge, but um, other than that, I don't even know what is the reason for this beef um i'm going to say that you know what i'm gonna say that um 
the Miz wins. I'm going to say that the Miz is going to win. And somehow, for whatever reason, this feud is going to continue. And I think the Miz is going to get a tag team partner. And at WrestleMania, it's going to be Rey Mysterio and his alleged son taking on the Miz and whoever. Maybe Cody Rose. I don't know. But maybe that might be the move. I don't know. So, uh, the next match is for uh, the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. You got the Viking Raiders taking on the Usos. Um... I'm going to pick the Usos to win. I mean, I like the Viking Raiders. I don't necessarily care too much for their gimmick where they just pound their chests and just yell raid forever. Um, I like them as competitors. I like them as wrestlers. But um, I'm going to rock with the bloodline. I'm going to just pick the Usos to retain their SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Uh, so I guess that leaves us with um, everything else, which is pretty much pretty, pretty which is pretty cool. Um, first up, we have the uh, Raw Women's Championship. We have Becky Lynch taking on Lita, and um, eh, I think this is be a pretty good match. Uh, I'm pretty sure Becky Lynch is gonna win, and Lita. I mean, it should be a good match. Um, I think this is like your first match in a while, like your first actual one-on-one match. Um, and it's pretty cool to see Lita back, but I think Becky Lynch is gonna win, and then she's gonna challenge whoever wins the uh, women's elimination chamber match, which will determine who the next number one contender is. And in that match, you have Liv Morgan, Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Dewdrop, Alexa Bliss, and Nikki Ash. Now, the thing with Alexa Bliss is we have have this gimmick where she's in therapy. I guess she's trying to get cured of being evil and Alexa Bliss getting cured from Lily. And the therapist's like, no, you need Lily. So I'm like, does she need the dog or not? Is she still crazy? Does she still have problems? I don't know what's going on. Does she enjoy this? Is she high right now? Does she ever get nervous? Who knows? Um, and I think they should have gave the dual personality gimmick to Nikki, and not Nikki Cross, but uh, to Alexa Bliss instead of Damian Priest. Let like Damian Priest just be cool, the cool Puerto Rican dude, and just let Alexa Bliss be the crazy, I need my doll, whatever. But uh, as far as who wins, I'm going to pick uh, Bianca Belair, and this will set up the match between Bianca and Becky Lynch for the rematch for the um, Raw Women's Championship. And Becky Bianca will finally win and get her win back, and all will be right with the world. Uh, the next match we have is um, the tag team match, which was made last week on SmackDown between Naomi and um, Ronda Rousey taking on Charlotte Flair and Sonya Deville. As far as who wins, I'm a rock with um. Uh, what's her name? Ronda Rousey and Naomi. I think Ronda is gonna either make Sonya Deville tap out or pin her. I think Ronda and um, Sonya, not Sonya, but uh, Naomi are gonna win this match. Um, so that leaves us with our main events. Um, and I guess I'll go ahead and get with um, the Roman Reigns Goldberg match for the Universal Championship. I really won't need Roman Reigns to win. And I need him to squash Goldberg. Like I said, I said this a, a couple of weeks ago. And um, I think that's, I hope that's what happens. I think Roman just needs to finish off Goldberg once and for all. Because it doesn't really make sense to have Roman Reigns, who has been the best Universal Champion in history, having trouble going up against a 53-year-old man. Or however old Goldberg is. I think it's like in his mid to late 50s. So if you want to have Roman Reigns be like this dominant champion, it doesn't make sense to have him struggle up against old man Goldberg. And again, this isn't a knock against Goldberg. I grew up on Goldberg. I love Goldberg. I like um, Goldberg in WCW. I like Goldberg in his early run in WWE. This isn't a knock against him. Goldberg does not need to be competing for championships. He doesn't need to be competing for WWE championships. He doesn't need to be competing for universal championships. He doesn't even need to compete for the 24 7 championship it doesn't need to happen like you you don't need it man roman reigns needs to win and i think this is going to play into the, um, the the other main event for the um wwe championship inside the elimination chamber you have bobby lashley taking on brock lesnar aj styles austin theory seth freaking rollins and riddle bro and 
it could go either one or two ways. You could either have Brock Lesnar win and beat Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship and they have the title for a title match, or somehow, some way, Roman gets involved, like he gets in the chamber and he costs Brock Lesnar, or he, um, yeah, he calls Brock Lesnar his um, chance to win, gets him eliminated somehow, and then you have Bobby Lashley retain because if Brock Lesnar wins, what do you do with everybody else? What do you do with Bobby Lashley? What do you do with Riddle? I mean, Riddle, he could possibly either take on Randy Orton, or you can have him and Randy take on the Alpha Academy again. But then again, where does that leave Seth Rollins? Where does that leave Lashley? Where does that leave Austin Theory? Where does that leave AJ Styles? Like, you have all these things that are up in the air. So you don't really need Brock Lesnar to win back the WWE Championship. You really don't need it. A lot of people are pushing for the main event being the main event of WrestleMania being the um, title of the title match, but I really don't think you need that. So I'm gonna pick Bobby Lashley to retain the WWE Championship. And yeah. So yeah, man, those are my predictions for Elimination Chamber. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty solid show, like a solid card. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me, let me know what your predictions are. What do you think is gonna happen on the show? Do you think we'll finally see Veer? Also, this is the first time uh, we've had a Saudi Arabia show without Mansoor. Like, where where has Mansoor been? Is he gonna send for Veer? Is him and Veer gonna go find Cody? Is Cody gonna bring Veer through the forbidden door? Who knows? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Of course, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. You guys take care. Be easy. I'm out. Peace.